I took this website, which is, you know, a, a supposed to be a fact website, as that, and I just blindly put them into a video, but as it turns out, ha literally half of them are wrong on this website. Wow. And that's the case across the internet. Let's welcome Matthew Santoro to the program. What's up, guys? Oh, I'm Matt. Are we I on? Am I, I on? I want to film this. How are you, bud? Good. How are you? Matthew Santoro, it is good for you. You were way ahead of the curve. You know, everyone knows the history because you've been on the program so many times. What are you at? Like 5.5 million subscribers? What are you at now? No, uh, 5.3 million. Oh, only 5.3. <laughs> okay. Let's not exaggerate, Todd. You're your own network. Have you ever thought about doing anything more with this network of people you have? Yeah, people people ask me that a lot. And to be honest, that doesn't interest me. What interests me is just being a creative person, putting out the best content I can put out. And quite frankly, I don't have time to manage any sort of network. I just don't. I just want to be the creative guy. That's it. I just want to be the guy that loves making videos. I just want to make that part of it. Don't care about the rest. Like, I, I don't want to hear about SOWs and, like, all that stuff. It stresses me out a little bit. What, what other sort of opportunities have presented itself to you now? Are you, are, you, are you starting to think of mainstream media stuff? And not to say that YouTube isn't mainstream, yeah. but what people deem to still be mainstream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a book coming out in August called Mind Equals Blown. It's a basically a mixture of my life stories as well as mostly facts about the crazy world that we live in. It's like my 50 Amazing Facts series on my YouTube channel, but in book form. And I just don't, I can't imagine doing the time. Was it, was it very time consuming for you? Very few authors write an entire Entire book themselves very yeah. few unless you're like a JK Rowling writes a book completely on their own mm -hmm. she can do that because she has millions and millions of dollars and that's what she does I think the key is always be willing to evolve and change and I think that's the key in any industry I think that holds universally true for radio television movies YouTube and it's fun to learn from you do you remember all that you do though with all your myths and your fact finding and your lists and <laughs> do you, I mean there's so much information there do you remember all, like sometimes people come up to you go you remember that list and you know or the or the top whatever this and then you go and you don't remember number four like does that ever happen again yeah oh yeah of course yeah. I've done almost 300 videos now. yeah you know that's like me saying like do you remember your 12th podcast if somebody brings up a topic I can remember generally you know, what the concept was. Yes. I might not be able to give you directly the, you know, hard facts. People regularly snap a picture of their professor or teacher showing my video in their class in tweeting it to me and wow. <laughs> I, we're currently watching this oh my god I can't believe you know uh, Mr. Blah 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 played this video of yours and it's uh, it's it's amazing to me that number one that teachers just trust a random guy on the internet who's telling their you know kids something that is really unverified to them like I who knows right do you fact check everything though do you, do you are you pretty good are there other times people have called you up for being wrong oh, for sure but yeah. that's made me better at it yeah so early early on in my fit especially in my 50 amazing facts series I mm -hmm. used to use a specific website but I quickly learned that those websites and this is a uh, something interesting that everyone listening should be vigilant on uh, anytime you go on a fact, a quote unquote fact website or someone on Facebook posts something, please think for yourself and question everything. Don't take anything as as, you know, uh, Bible, including anything I say. Always be skeptical because I took this website, which is, you know, a, supposed to be a fact website as that. And I just blindly put them into a video but as it turns out ha literally half of them are wrong on this website wow. and that's the case across the internet and the reason it's across the internet is because a lot of these will start on one website like one website will do the research and then the 10 other fact websites that are out there will literally copy it word for word and post it on their website it happens all the time there's tons of plagiarism with that stuff online. yeah but but that being said if it's a fact you can't really own a fact, right? So how do you, so people have said that to me before. They're like, oh, you're just like ripping off Wikipedia, which is humorous to me because I've literally never used Wikipedia as a source. We've all been to school and we all remember that one teacher, yeah. that one teacher that could teach you anything and you loved it because you didn't feel like you were in class. You didn't mm -hmm. feel like you were being lectured to. You felt like it was a friend telling you something really cool. And that's the one where you went home and said, Mom, did you know that Jay Brody pees his pants? Yeah. Like, yeah. that's, that's you interesting. You learn better. You learn you, way you remember better. remember it, yeah. Yeah, and they've done studies on this. And people learn better when they don't feel like they're being taught. And that's why people like Bill Nye the Science Guy were very successful. He was an infotainer. He was an entertainer. But you were learning. You just didn't know 
you were learning. There's a weird psychological thing there where if people don't know that they're learning, they just soak it up like a sponge. Well, Matthew Santoro, congrats on all your successes. Is there anything else other than the book that will be a number one bestseller on the New York Times bestseller list uh, out in August? And you can find it on all of Just type in Matthew Santoro and you'll see him blowing up on Twitter, blowing up on Facebook, blowing up on Snapchat, blowing up on Instagram, blowing up on YouTube, blowing up on whatever's next, you, which you'll have your ear to the ground too, I'm sure. Uh, mm-hmm. What else? Is there, is there anything else uh, before you go that you can tell us that we can look forward to seeing you in that you know of now? Uh, the only other thing at the moment, I got, you know, a couple things here and there. Okay. That, you know, I'm dabbling in, but mm. in January, or at least the first quarter of 2017, the next and final Resident Evil movie comes out, and that's my, I guess you could say, Hollywood debut, because I'm going to be a zombie. So I don't have any lines, yeah. other than... Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Do you actually do that? Oh, yeah. yeah that's oh, the best. Oh, dude, no. So that's an interesting Amazing. story. I don't know how much time we have, but I'll tell yeah, it really... No, we have a few minutes. Okay, I'll tell, <laughs> it. Yeah. I'll tell it really Love quickly. It. Um, they flew myself and uh, multiple influencers out from all the different major areas. And not only did we get to meet uh, Mila Jovovich, which was really cool. And what they did was they took all of us influencers, there's about eight of us, I believe, and put us at the front of every horde of zombies. Uh, the last question, just, and, and, and just try and summarize it quickly. Does, did you, you know, you said Superwoman's open about talking about things. Do you ever, like, are you careful about talking about oh, yeah. how you make money? For me, I'm open with my audience to say, look, obviously I make my money off of YouTube and I know you guys understand when I shout out an Audible or a Bacardi. But I mean, that's, you know, we, that's how we make our living. It's no different than how you guys make yeah. your living. The only difference is, is that a YouTuber is the crux of what makes a YouTuber popular is the relatability. And you guys have that too, but YouTubers have this unique relatability that it's like just John Doe uploading from his apartment. We're like anyone can just be on this level, and you've proven that. It's an amazing story. Thank you. You come back from time to time. You're a show regular. You're a friend. Make sure you follow Matthew Santoro if for some reason you don't. And if you follow Matthew Santoro, make sure you follow us. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much to Matthew for being Thanks, on the guys. program. Congrats on the book, and I can't wait Thank to you. read it. The Todd Shapiro Show on Cat of the Lives. Sirius XFL 168. Hey, what's up? I'm Roddy. Subscribe to our channel. You're going to love it. For the rest of this episode, you gotta check out our podcast yeah. online, on the website. Go check it out. You won't be disappointed.